Welcome to Green Screen 101, so to speak. Um, so as you can see, I am, I actually don't know where I am. I just got a random picture off Google. And that thing that's behind me, I don't know what that is. But anyway, the important thing is canceling out the ugly green right here. And the thing I mentioned, you're not going to see it right now, but you will see it while I'm done. It is really creepy. I have no clue what it is. So for now, just focus on the green screen. All right, so to cancel out the colors, you've got the green behind me. And to cancel this out, you got to go to highlight this video track. And this video track should be in video two. Whatever you have with green that you want to cancel out, that should be in video two or one higher than what you're trying to put behind me or behind you or whatever. So you'll go to off to the far left, upper left hand front of the screen. Not the top of the screen, but the where you have your uh, shots shots list, there's another tab right to the right of that one. If you click on that one, go down to key, to video effects, down to key, and then one is named chroma key. Now that one you'll take, you'll drag, and you'll drop it on top of this clip. And once you do that, if you can go to, in the center, the center pane, uh, there are two things, and one of them you view this clip, and the other one you, is the effects control. So you'll click on that one, Use the drop down menu for the chroma key, and then you take the eyedropper and just click on that. Click on this anywhere on here. So you click on that, and it'll select a green. You want a green. And then it'll raise the similarity as high as you can get it without making me or the person or whatever in front of it disappear. Um, and I'll tweak this so you can see. All right, so now as I raise it higher and higher. I'm starting to disappear. I don't want that. So you find out where that ends. And if you get a really big shadow, what you could do, if you can't raise it high enough to get rid of the shadow, you just take the chroma key, get another one, drag it, drop it on top of this clip, and do it again. That's how you get rid of this floor here. Just click it, drag it, click somewhere on this. It's a really, really ugly green tablecloth, but it works. Um, and so you do that. So that gets rid of the green. Raising the similarities to get rid of the green. But you'll notice that there's stuff other places. There's, you know, the floor, which you can't cancel out using chroma key because it's it's got gray in it, blue in it, white in it. It is everything I'm wearing and my skin, my everything, it's just hair color disappear if you try to cancel out the floor. Um, so the only way to get rid of the floor is a garb mat. Now it's in the same uh, same pane under video effects keying as the chroma key was. And what you're going to want to use is a like a 16 point mat. There's, the different mats basically give you more points. You're making a polygon, and everything within the polygon is still visible. And everything outside gets canceled out, like you do the chroma key. So you'll use this as sort of more of a broader thing, because obviously I, I want to have a wide enough shot so I'm visible, so I can walk around. I can go wherever I want, basically, on this. I can walk over here. And you can still see my feet. But because I canceled out the floor and I canceled out the wall. But I can't get rid of this using chroma key. So what you'll do is you'll drop, use the 8 point, 16 point, whatever. Just the more points, the more you have to move. So 8 point works. If you move the 8 point over from the uh, effects tab, so the same thing as keying, drop that on this clip, and then move the points around. And it gives you the coordinates under the effects controller, and change the coordinates. And as you move them, you'll see that it starts to get, it starts to cancel out from the left and the right, all over the place. And then, because there's one in the top corners, some of the sides, the bottom, and you can just adjust them until you get rid of everything. And so by the time you're done, I should be on some really weird spaceship with some really freaky thing over on that side of me. Yeah, on that side of me. Because um, right now, I'm in front of a green screen. I have, I can put anything behind me. I can be on Mars, I can be in the Matrix. I can be, I can be anywhere, and you can use this stuff on the floor. You can use this as an invisibility cloak. Um, let me just show you. See? All right. Now you'll notice that that now you can see the floor. But you can just take this and just disappear or whatnot. You can also use it as a scene transition. I'm sort of breaking all the stuff. I'm gonna get a little lower here. All right, you use it as a scene transition. So to go to your next scene, if you have this, you can quite literally just wave this over the camera, 
and then cut to the next scene. So if I was going to that freaky thing, what I'd do is I'd just wave this over and end with that. So uh, I'll end with that.